Guess who's back from the dead? <laughs> Just kidding, I was never dead. I mean, I was sick for literally the past week. You could say I was metaphorically dead. So, yeah, because I've been super sick for the past week, I have not managed to get to any recording whatsoever of any videos of mine because I was thinking I could either record something that's half-assed and produce it and have all my fans like yell at me asking why am I not in the spirit as I would be or I could wait until my sinuses cleared up and I stopped getting headaches and then I could actually produce something that's worth watching so I decided to wait out and I've been getting better. I mean, I'm still a little bit congested, but congested, but it wasn't as bad as it was when I did that candy review of the gourmet gum that I did last week. Well, actually, since I've been away, there have been a couple things happening, like even as I was getting better, that I felt like I could have recorded something, I didn't because ho homework started piling up on me. And I'm a college student, so of course, homework comes first. And then videos, unfortunately, have to be put on the back burner until I have the time to balance out, hmm, what are more important, grades or views at the moment? So, yeah, it was, it was great. And, and another reason why I've been busy, well, that adds on to the homework load, is because rehearsals for my school's musical have started, and since I'm in the ensemble, I literally have no breaks in between whatsoever, even though they do say, oh, bring in your homework, because you're going to be working on it, I literally have not gotten the time to do any homework while I was on stage and yeah it kind of pissed me off too because I was like look I have this assignment due at the end of the week and these rehearsals even though I'm just sitting on stage doing absolutely nothing I literally can't go anywhere until my director or the stage manager says I'm okay to leave and they are very strict when it comes to people running off stage to go into the green room or just leaving the theater in general. They are super strict about that, so I'm not going to test their boundaries. But now I got the time, so... Let, so another update that actually happened um, a couple days ago is if you haven't been following me on Instagram or Tumblr, or if you're not a Cardlin Audio fan, uh, then I, I'm proud to announce that two more of my scripts came out earlier in the last week and already they've been getting a bunch of views so congratulations senpai if you want to know what those videos are um, the links are in the description box below if you want to take a look at them for your own pleasure I'm, I could be just excited about scripts being uploaded in general and all, like the first time my script got uploaded, I was over the moon, but with these two scripts, I was more over the moon because these two scripts that Carlin decided to make into audio, they were a lot more personal to me. Um, to give you an overview, um, the pictures of the, or the, of the thumbnails of the videos are right beside my head. Um, these scripts are more leaning towards comfort for the LGBT community. I mean, straight people can listen to them too if they want, but these are more comfort videos on coming out as gay. And these are personal to me because I am a, or I'd like to consider myself as a huge ally to the LGBT community just in general. Like, my best friends here at college are either gay, straight, bi, or transgender. Like, the list, get, the list just goes on. And my 
sister is also gay, so literally at the reason why I wrote these scripts, it was my patronage to them to let them know that I am listening. I will listen. I will be there if you need me. There is no reason to be afraid of me. Like now even talking about it, I'm getting a tad bit emotional. Like, I think what, what made me the most emotional about this whole thing in general was as I was looking through the comments section on both of those videos after they, after Carlin uploaded them, I didn't get, or he's been getting, not me, I did not upload these at all. He has been getting a lot of support comments or fan comments by saying, like there's a fan who's gay or bisexual and they'll they'll say that this video has been comforting to them as a as a whole and they couldn't thank Cardlin enough for doing a video like this. And I don't wanna pat myself on the back or anything like that, but it made me a little happier inside to read those comments as well because at least I know I'm doing something right for the people that I care about so much. And actually, while watching those videos, not only did Cardlin's ASMR make me, make me feel better while I was sick, it was also those very, very nice comments that brought a little bit more joy into my life while I was bedridden suffering because, because I was coughing up a storm, I was getting constant headaches, and i have been losing sleep for the past couple of days. And I also wrote right in the comments that people have been begging for a closet confession seat part two. How am I supposed to keep up with that demand? Because it literally took me about a month to finalize that part one script alone. Anyway, when it comes to getting back on track with my videos and such, I'm afraid I'm going to have to be um, uploading smaller projects this week because starting on Saturday, I will be on vacation for spring break. And since I'm going to be spending time with my family, because this is the first spring break that my sister and I both are on break at the same time, um, recording videos, or even like even making lyric videos at that are not happening. Like I am not bringing my laptop at all. Like I am sick and tired of using this thing just for anything at the moment because, or for a week or so because all I've been doing on this computer for the past couple weeks was homework, homework, homework. And I'm sick and tired of looking at the homework screen. Like, I just, I just want a break for a week. But I will try to at least post something that's legit this week. Probably most likely by Friday of all days. Because that's my one day that I actually don't have class. Like, I'll just whip up something before rehearsal. Or at least try to, but if I don't, I completely apologize. Like I said, my schedule just has not been great as of lately. I mean, I don't have midterms or anything, but it's just the homework load is the replacement of the midterms, according to being the life of the English major or how my professors see it. However, I will be, or you won't be left out of my, um, vacation, I will post Instagram and Tumblr photos just to see or tell you guys that I'm still alive and stuff and stuff like that. And I will make sure I get back on track with posting um, the reviews and other stuff that you guys like by the time I get back. Because by that time I should be done with the majority of my stuff, like, April should be the month where everyone's prepping for finals anyway, so my mind would go be more towards my final projects than, than just individual assignments. But, 
or I could be saying this, or I completely jet myself, and now I'm busy with school life altogether, and I thought this would be an easier time for me. Well, anyway, thanks for watching this update for me, and um, if you like this video, which I'm not expecting any likes or anything, um, you can always um, hit the like button. <coughs> God, this cough is terrible. And I forgot to bring water into the common room, which makes it worse. And if you want to see more of my fun content, just go to my channel and explore. And um, also hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more fun stuff that I've been bragging so much about or trying to brag about as I'm trying not to cough to end this video. Anyways, I'm Kate Sharon. It's been real. Bye-bye.